The symptoms of a serious blood clot can come on suddenly and quickly and put your life in danger. They can affect the young and older patients alike. But now there's a breakthrough treatment for blood clots that has already saved lives. Channel 2's Sophia Ojeda explains how it works, and she's revealing the symptoms you should know how to recognize. I went to work one day and I got up from my desk and my hearing kind of went out, my vision was weird and I knew um, something was wrong, like I just didn't feel right. Delaney's mom and a friend rushed her to the hospital. Sitting in the waiting room praying, I knew that they would take care of her. I just didn't know how bad it was. Doctors quickly discovered Delaney had a massive blood clot in her leg. Pieces had broken off and traveled to her lungs. I made the diagnosis of her having pulmonary embolism. At that time, uh, her the right side of her heart was under a lot of stress and it was actually failing. I'm like, I'm 21 years old. I'm, I have a blood clot like that doesn't make sense. He said that um, if I hadn't gotten to the hospital at least a half hour, Later, I would have died. Doctors were able to remove the clots in her lungs, but Delaney's leg was more challenging. There's a very big obstruction going on here. There's a really uh, nasty clot. Dr. Antonius Atala turned to a device called the Clot Trever, approved by the FDA earlier this year. After we've located the position of the clot, we actually go in and snare it almost uh, in a very similar fashion, like a plumber would snare um, um, a blockage of, of some sort in a pipe. The animation shows what it looks like in the body as the clot is pulled out. The majority of, of the clot that we're seeing before is completely gone now after treatment for about a day. Uh, whatever small residual clots are uh, there uh, are small and will be treated with blood thinners. I'm just grateful to be alive and <laughs> for Dr. Tal and that tool, like that tool saved my life. So I'm very grateful. Further testing revealed Delaney has a condition called May Thurner syndrome. A critical vein and artery are crossed, meaning blood couldn't flow as freely as it should. Delaney had also recently taken a trip to Hawaii. Sitting for long periods in a confined space increases your risk for clots. And she has a family history. We're going to work with our hematologist to do a little further testing to make sure that if there is something genetic that all of our family is aware about it and they know how to take care of it too. Delaney needed a stent in her leg, but she recovered and now she wants other young people to know blood clots can happen to anyone. So try to wrap my head around it but it's like a half hour is not a lot of time like I could have been stuck in traffic for a half hour and it would have been the difference between me being here right now signs of a blood clot in the leg can include swelling pain or tenderness and an area that's warm to the touch if the clot breaks up and travels to the lungs it can cause sudden shortness of breath chest pain rapid heart rate and a cough and that's a medical emergency you need to call 911 right away Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.